Hey, welcome to Burning Cereal. My name is Rusty. Today, we're making some world famous cronuts. You've heard all about them on the news. There's a place out in New York that makes some people are lining up at five o'clock in the morning to get these things. And by nine o'clock, they're sold out. Uh, they're selling them on Craigslist for anywhere between 40 and 100 bucks for a freaking cronut. And all it is, is a donut that's a croissant. So let's spend a couple of dollars here in California and make them on our own. Okay, so what do we need to make a cronut? It's not rocket science. Crescent rolls, buy a tube, easy peasy. Powdered sugar, a little bit of flour for the board, for your rolling pin, some oil, you can use vegetable oil, canola oil, I just happen to have some extra vegetable oil, so we're gonna use that. A Little bit of milk. Now, the things that we're using the milk and the powdered sugar for is the beautiful icing that we're gonna put on top. Okay, you can fill these cronuts with cream, things like that. I'm not into that. I just want a glazed cronut. So let's break this down and get started. Okay, so I've opened the roll of crescent rolls. And what you wanna do is you wanna pinch together the seam and have it join back together. And depending on the brand that you get, some of them are gonna be cut a little bit more than the rest. This particular brand, they were cut quite a bit, so it came apart. But all you do is you just pinch these seams back together and try to make it into a rectangle again. And from there, what we're gonna do is take these sheets and marry them back together. So, Take this one and this one, marry it together. This one, this one, marry it together. And what you're gonna wanna do is put a little bit of flour down on your board. Give it a quick roll just to make it just a little bit larger. Then you're gonna fold it in thirds over, over, and then we're gonna roll it again. Make it a little bit bigger. If it starts to stick, just put a little bit of flour back on the rolling pin. Roll it again. Roll it again, just like that. Now what you're gonna to wanna to do is make your donut. Now. If you don't have a cookie cutter, very simple thing that you can do is just take a glass, push the glass down, have it separate. Second one, push the glass down, have it separate. Now, simple way to make the center. shot glass right in the middle another shot glass right in the middle and what you come up with is your cronut and a cronut hole now this right here yeah that's pretty much waste what you can do is just roll it into a ball um, make something else out of it you can probably get Another one or two cronut holes out of here. A couple more cronut holes. So we're gonna do that with the rest of the dough that we have, and then we're gonna pop them in the oil. So we'll be right back to you. Okay, so on the stove, we've got a pot of oil, and it's heated up to 350 degrees. And what we're gonna do is, just to test it out, take cronut hole, Put it inside the oil and let it go for 45 seconds to a minute and then roll her over. Um, that's on the cronuts. On the cronut holes, 
These are done in just a matter of seconds. And what you want to do is take a paper towel, lay it down on a plate because we are going to drain them a little bit. So this guy looks like he's done. So we'll take him out, lay him on the paper towel. Now we'll take one of our cronuts, put it in the oil away from you. It's going to sit on the bottom for a minute and then float to the top. Once it floats to the top, give it a few seconds and then flip it over. They only take about a minute in the oil. I won't, don't recommend doing more than one or two of them at a time because um, they will stick. And that's it. There's your cronut. Let's try one more. Again, drop it in the oil away from you. It'll go to the bottom and float up to the top. Give it a good 20, 30 seconds on the top. Then we'll flip him over. There he goes. Another 30 seconds on this side and then we'll take him out and drain him. Now, these can be injected with all kinds of different creams, uh, buttercream or anything like that that you want. All you have to do is take a nozzle and stick it right inside the side of the cronut and infuse it with whatever you want. So let me finish up this batch and uh, we'll take a look at them and see how they turn out. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make the icing for the top. And what I've got here is a half a cup of powdered sugar and we're just going to add a little bit of milk, give it a good mix. If we need more milk, we can always add it, but this should make a nice thick glaze. And it looks like it needs to be thinned out a little bit more. So let's go ahead and add a little bit more milk. And as you can see, it's slowly but surely turned into that wonderful icing that you see at like Krispy Kreme or one of the other donut shops. So if it's too thin for you, add more powdered sugar. If it's too thick, add more milk so let me finish mixing this up and we'll glaze some of these cronuts and then take a taste okay so this looks pretty good to me so you have two options when it comes down to this and option number one is take the cronut drop it in Spin it on both sides, all around. Let the excess drain off. And then let it sit on a plate. And then the other option that you have is just to run it over the top and make it look I guess we'll call it pretty. It's a it's a cronut, so there it is. There's the cronuts. So let's uh, take a taste of one of these and see how they are. Okay, so we fried up all of our cronuts, and let's go ahead and take a taste and see how they did. That's pretty good. Nice and flaky. It saves me 1200 bucks for flying to New York. So give these a try. Let us know what you think. 
Please remember to subscribe. Visit our website, www.burningserial.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. <laughs> I always forget the opening line. Hey, welcome to Burning Cereal. My name is Mike, and today we are making da -da -da, cronuts. Hey, welcome to Burning Cereal. My name is Rusty. Today, making some freaking cronuts. You've heard of all about them on the news. You've started this all over again in three, two, one, pause. Cronuts. Yeah, you heard me right. Cronuts. Croissant donut they slept together they made a cronut and it's got this in it and it's got this in it and one of these and then some of this white stuff but don't put it in your nose and then it's got some of this white stuff this you can put in your nose and then one of these and it tells you how hot things are and then if you want to make them a different color you put this in there and a rolling pin that light is really bright yeah Okay, let's try this one more time.